Hey guys, it's Brian Buffington at Pioneer Risa. I hope you're having a wonderful spring break if you're up here in Northeast Georgia because everybody's gone. They're at the beach having a good time. I'm up here working, but that's cool because I have something really great I want to share with you. And I have really something special for all those people who work in the STEM fields. That means you know who you are. That's science people, tech, engineering, math, where you have to write equations and notations and really precise little things that the computer has not made it really simple for you to do. Um, so for decades, we've been doing these little crazy formulas and things, and you had no special keyboard shortcuts. Hey, all that's changed. Things have gotten really, really good now. Um, so there's a free Chrome extension. I say free, there's a 30 day trial on it. I have no idea how much it costs, but you have to see it because it really can change how you and your students do math. Um, do your do the other things that you're doing in class as well, even chemical uh, chemistry notation. So I want to show you how it works. It's a big deal. It's a game changer. It's called Equatio. Equatio. Sounds lovely. Um, so right here, I'm in a Google Doc. All right. And here's my, you know, little fun slide I made. But I want to show you something. I come down a little bit. It's a huge font. Wow. And I have a special button up here. This blue button. You probably don't have the blue button because you just learned about it. So I touched the blue button and this thing pops up. And let me see if I can hide. Oh, there's this little thing I can hide. And um, I can start doing equations with this button right here. I think. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, right here. And I can start typing things. So I can say, you know, X. And if I put SQU, watch what happened. SQ. It already prompts certain symbols and notation for my for my problem I'm trying to do. So I do say, so, yeah, I say, yeah, you know, X squared. Wow. Okay, now that's, that, may, that may not be a big deal, but what if you want to do something else like um, plus maybe the quadratic equation? So I can just type quad. Oh my goodness. It just pops up. And then you just plug, plug and chug, right? Like, well, that's going to be three, and that's going to be two. Think, man, this is crazy. This is crazy good, right? Now you can also still input things manually over here on the bottom right. So feel free to do that. I'm going to erase all this stuff and let's let's play with another way. Well, let's do the chemistry one too, by the way. So we can say oxygen. Oh, there's some different some different fun things there too. Um, plus, I don't know, um, hydrogen. Ooh, hi, ooh. What's this one? Hydrozoic acid. I need that. I need that in a 50 gallon drum right now. All right. So all those are there. You make your equations and you just say insert math. And this is what happens. Something happens. Oh, it's probably down here. Oh, there it is. Boom. And it's actually, it's an image. Because they make an image. It goes into your Google Doc. And you know what you can do with that? You can still, um, let me tell you, I'll erase this stuff. I'll clear all this. If I touch this guy and I say extract math, I can go back and revise it. See, there it goes. And I can say, you know what? No, I don't want to do that guy. I want to do, I want a four there because that's just going to make life a lot better. And I say insert math and maybe it, it'll go. Oh, there it goes. It took a second. Like that? Pretty. Oh, it did twice because I'm, you know, impatient. That's who I am. So there you go. But I want to show you another way to do this. So let me get rid of all this stuff. I look down here. There's, um, we just did the equation editor and that's you typing in your equations. But over here, there's another one with the handwriting. Now this this is legitimate because I'm like on my Mac here. You could be on your Dell, your Chromebook, whatever you're on. We want students doing this stuff. And I can actually just write with my finger and it does pretty good. Let's check it out. So right here it says handwriting and I'm going to get my trackpad. See my little mousy? Mousy's right there. I go, oh, I want to do two X. Let's see if it'll do it. Oh, that was a terrible X, but it, ooh, it even did it. That was a terrible X minus. 3y. Now I'm on, my, I'm on my little trackpad with my finger. So, you know, it's kind of messy, but it's still doing pretty good. Uh, equals, let's see if it'll do some, you know, square root stuff. Oh, look at that. Ooh, 16. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm getting excited. That's with my trackpad, but we can even get fancier. So I'm going to clear that out. Um, now, some of you have things laying around your school, you only know what they are. Now, this is called a tablet, like a writing tablet before the iPad, okay? This is a writing tablet that people usually do artwork with it. 
But I said, you know, we can use, it's really just a mouse, but it gives us a large trackpad and we can use like a pen, all right? And you may have these in the closets. Um, some schools, when they bought smart boards, they also purchased wireless tablets and they can be used for this. So watch how more efficient this is. So I'm gonna grab my mouse. There it is. And I go, I'm gonna try to write small and go X. I mean, two. We'll do it. Oh, ooh, okay. I'm out, of the, I'm out of the range. There we go. Two X. Ooh, I'll clear it. I'll clear it. Sorry, guys. Clear. So two X. And I guess I'm not up high enough above it. It's thinking it's a multiplication. Let me get rid of all this stuff. Let's do it again. Two X. See what I'm saying? We don't give up. Don't give up. Minus. Let's do 18. Yeah, I guess it's 18. I don't know. I kind of made a nasty eight there. There we go. There's there's the eight. Um, I guess I could put this in parentheses, right? People need parentheses. Look at that. Put a dot for multiplication. And we could just do, we could just get wild. We could get wild with this. So I want to show you, there's the tablet. Um, this is made by Wacom, but I'd rather do this if I'm doing a bunch of math or a bunch of equations. And there's all, so let me clear this. So this is one option. And don't forget, you just insert math and it goes into your thing here. I'm going to delete all this. And then you have the speech input, which I haven't mastered. I just learned about this stuff. But I'm pretty sure if you know the right terms, it'll, it will, you know, put this out for you. So let, let's just try it. And let's see. Square root of 16. Oh, maybe I have to hit the button. Square root of 16. Divided by, and see, it's putting it under the same, we call it the house when I was in school. <laughs> and it's picking up text. See that? It's still, it's it, because the company who makes this, they also do really good speech recognition. Um, they have some other, other really cool tools. So as you can see there, you get used to it and it's just going to keep writing everything for me down there and it's getting on my nerves, but that's okay. Um, Cause I'm learning things as I go. But man, there's a lot of power here, but it gets even better. So let's say you learn how to do this. It makes your life much more efficient. Students are using this. I'm going to close this out. Uh, close. Yeah. I want to go to forms. Did you know that this also works with Google forms? Because look here, I get my special blue button inside the form because some of you, you like making quizzes. You like having students work out problems in Google forms. So you say insert math and I get all my fancy options again. And I say, you know what? Here's my equation editor. And I'll say quadratic formula. And I'll just put some things here. See, insert. It makes math. It makes a picture. It puts it in there. And let's preview it so you can actually see it. We'll do the preview. Wow. Come on. Um, I think, who's that character from... The Andy Griffith show who would say Shazam. Shazam. That's awesome. So there you go. If you work in the STEM fields, this is a great tool. It's called Equatio. They just came out. I'm pretty sure they just came out. It's a Chrome extension. All right. It's a Chrome extension. I'll put the link on the YouTube video underneath it. Um, and they give a 30-day trial. And they're not putting their pricing anywhere. I didn't. I couldn't find their pricing. So after the 30-day trial, I have no idea how much this cost. Um, but I went ahead and asked because I know people want to know. Um, and I want students to have this too. So can you imagine all students have this on the Chromebooks and they can actually notate these things, um, and not have to memorize all those keyboard shortcuts because they're just, they're complicated. And when I talk to math teachers and we're talking about Google classroom, we're talking about Google products. I mean, it's just an instant sadness because they know it's just not fun for them. It's not fun. Everybody else is having fun, but they're not having fun because writing equations is a hassle on a digital device. Equatio is making it where it's not as much as a hassle. And it was actually kind of fun. To me, it was kind of fun. I don't teach math all day. But I know some math teachers. I know they would be all about this. So, hey, y'all try it out. Do the 30-day trial. And, hey, get with me. Let me know if you, if you like this video. Catch you later. Bye.